Marab Devalishvili engaged in a wrestling match with Bradley Martin, while Rob DeWallace encountered Bradley Martin at Power Slap, attempting a wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, boxer Ryan Garcia, during a live session on Instagram, vehemently expressed his opinions about Dylan Danis. Subsequently, Dylan Danis joined the chat, prompting Garcia to unleash a barrage of criticism upon him after spotting. The check is running out, but relax a little bit, buddy. Bro, it's not a game all the time, Dylan Danis. Like, it's real life, and you keep playing. You're not, you're really not. Bro, you literally got beat up by Logan Paul. You're not bro. Like, you've been up for years and years and years. You had a chance and then you went and looked stupid in the ring. You're not bro. Like, literally, you're not You're just an idiot. Do I'm a jujutsu guy. Bro, you don't even know how to write. Sorry for my language. You don't even know how to write, bro. It's a real fight. I make you hold my pocket. Now you trying to talk like Connor, bro. You're literally stupid. Like, literally stupid. Bro, you're like that one dude that just comes out of nowhere like, can I have a hug? Like, relax, bro. You're the dude that says I need a hug. You're a me. And get off my page before I block you. Like, I don't like idiots. Don't talk to me no more. We're cool off you, bro. Hit us in 30 minutes. Come back. Hit us in 30. Andrew Tate issued a response to John Jones yesterday, following Jones expressing his opinion on Tate. The exchange of opinions between John Jones and Andrew Tate took place recently. Like you, how do you rate Andrew Tate as a fighter? <laughs> Andrew, I, you know, I, I've seen, I've seen some of his training videos. Um, I haven't seen too much of his actual work, um, but he looks pretty solid. He looks solid. I'm just proud of the person that that he's trying to be, just for for human beings. He's always trying to share some knowledge and he doesn't always hit the mark, but he's trying to, you know, help men and, and women think outside the box and expand on all of our knowledge. And, and I'm grateful for that because not a lot of people do share what they know. So I'm grateful for him. Andrew Tate replied to John using X, conveying his thoughts with a top-notch response. Last night, Cian Strickland found himself entangled in a significant amount of drama. Dana White reacted to the scene Strickland drama, which unfolded after scene sparred with the streamer Sneo. Many fans believe that Sean went too hard during the spar. You know, as his rapper, this is the second knows he works for you. Double up the box. As we get closer to the three minute mark, you're about to feel a significant more amount of pain. <laughs> They should be setting it in right now, then nothing you can do can hurt me. And this is a moment that as you're realizing, you're about to have a really bad day in the next minute. Two minutes. Two minutes. I want to enjoy this a little bit longer. There you go. Oh. Sean and Sneeko met up afterwards at Power Slap, and Sean told Sneeko that he could have taken his life. Sneeko also ran into Bilal Muhammad, who said that Sean has pillow hands. I just want to say, I don't think you deserve the hate that you're getting on social media. Does it get me? I, don't, they, I mean, they're giving him backlash. They're saying that, like, he went too hard. I know that everybody you know, knows. They must not know who this man is, Let me tell you something. I like Sneeko. Some things you've done are questionable, but you're better. Everybody does a questionable thing. I would take your life gladly, but I don't mean that personally. I would probably anybody in this room for the most part besides my friend. But you hung in there, bro. You showed up and you smart, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, you did it the right way. Yeah. How you feeling? How's it going? Feel good, yeah. Yeah, man. There's, there's guys you do it with, and guys that are airheads that are like slow that don't understand that they want to just make like a try to make you look stupid. But oh, okay. Josh Strickland's one of those guys that wants to make you look stupid. So what what do you think overall? What what should I work on the most? Like I mean, we all know Sean got pillow hands. Right? <laughs> you also got a chin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
biggest thing, biggest game thing in this game is heart, right? You had heart. Yeah, you didn't fall, you didn't fall. Anything technical you notice? I mean, crossing the feet, little things, just lo loosening up your body a little bit with it. Stiff You're longer, yeah. So uh, use your jabs more, play with it a little bit more. Using your distance, because you're, you're a bigger kid. So get in that ring ownership. When the guy's walking forward, you put his hands down. It's like, all right, you got to make him not want to walk forward anymore. So you got to hit him with a hard one, too, to the face. Yeah. So, but I know he's just laughing at you, and like you don't think that anything's no. going to hurt him. Have you sparred him before? Huh? Have you sparred uh, Sean no, before? I don't like the street fight, though. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> like I don't like him at all. You, you, you never? Oh, because why? I don't like him, though. No, he's just a piece of trash, like a human being. So, yeah. yeah. So I don't get along with it. You guys have like personal... We got beef, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Nah, you're good. <laughs> I had no idea. Sean and Sneo reunited later at Power Slap, where Sean conveyed to Sneo that he had the capability to end his life. Additionally, Sneo crossed paths with Bella Muhammad, who remarked that Sean has soft, ineffective punches. Sean Strickland tweeted that there may have been something between him and Machine Gun Kelly. Can you talk to me about what happened there? You can't bring Sean Strickland around any other human beings. It's like, you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with Machine Gun Kelly. It's about humans. Last night, Sean had a confrontation with Machine Gun Kelly. Sean openly told him he looked peculiar to his face, leading to a verbal exchange between the two. Dana White responded to this incident, sharing his thoughts on- Call that Jim Heroes. When he spot Pereira, did he spot like that? Didn't look like it. Exactly, because he knows Pereira will f knock him out. It's called respect, and um, I have teammates, and we can push, but I don't try and hurt my teammates. Like, he's knocking people out in the gym. I accidentally, I've probably- A circulating clip today features Isra Dissa discussing Sean Strickland's sparring habits. This clip is sourced from UFC 293, where Izzy referred to Sean as a gym hero. Isra mentioned that Scene refrained from sparring with Alex Pa in a similar manner, and besemicizing that scene is aware he would likely get knocked out if he did. It's not even knocked out, like dropped him because it was light. But like, you know, it's just, I don't try and hurt people. I don't, I don't know, there's many ways to skin a cat. Look, whatever you, works for you, works for you. But I just feel like I've seen too many of those now where I'm just like, Jim Hero. And